So someone has been asking and keeps on asking for me to do a little video on what I eat and drink in a day. And there is no typical day. I honestly do something different almost every day, but this is just one day in my life, one out of 365 in a year. So I started this morning with a energy drink and this is just kind of more like a vitamin energy drink. It's not um, like one of those energy drinks that are sugary. So it's from Live Pure. So P-U-R-E means People United Reaching Everyone is what that stands for. But it's kind of like an online um, company that I got connected with through a friend. And I like the Mixed Berry, which is this particular packet. So it actually works really well for all of your systems. So it's not just like energy, but it also helps you focus. And there's like a vitality blend in it, as well as an adrenal health blend and an alkal alkalizing um, blend as well. So it's just kind of a good way to set, set the day. And I'm not a super big breakfast person. A lot of mornings I just have um, this drink and then, you know, keep, keep going with my day and don't really eat actual solid food until maybe 10 30 or 11 o'clock in the morning so that's what i started the day with and then i'm going to move on to some actual food food at about 11 o'clock in the morning and i'm kind of a scavenger because i'm a mom i feel like as moms we just eat what's left over like what the kids don't want or what's gonna go bad so this avocado was kind of like on the extra ripe side. So I decided to um, make something with the avocado. So I'm going to do avocado toast and slice an apple and fry an egg and just kind of make a breakfast sandwich with that. And also I like to put lime juice typically in my avocado, but I don't have limes. I have a lemon though. So I'm going to add some lemon juice, some salt, some pepper, some paprika, just kind of mash up the avocado with that and then spread it on some toast and I'm gonna fry an egg. It's a really nice um, farm fresh egg and I'm gonna go ahead and just fry that in a frying pan and I actually like my egg cooked all the way through for a breakfast sandwich so it doesn't run everywhere. So I flipped it over and I'm gonna add that to the mashed um, avocado. So this is avocado and then again, I just mashed it with some lemon juice salt and pepper and paprika and then spread that onto the toast and put the fried egg on top of that and then I'm going to put another piece of bread on top of that and just eat it as a sandwich and also have just a small kind of sliced apple on the side and by the way that's a pink lady apple is what kind of apple that is and what am I drinking I actually am going to drink a lime sparkling water this is a bubbly brand I don't really mind any of the brands of sparkling water that are out there. I just would rather drink a sparkling water than regular tap water or even just straight bottled water. I don't know. I just like a little fizz or a little flavor with my water instead of, um, you know, just straight water. So after I eat my kind of brunch, basically, I got really busy with hair clients and I then went straight into Langston's nap and I didn't really get a lunch or anything between that morning time and I think it was like 7 30 or 8 o'clock at night that I finally had a chance to <laughs> eat something else so I was too hungry to actually make anything so I just grabbed this plate that Franklin had left in the fridge I have no idea why he leaves a tiny little bit of food on a plate like he will eat and then just leave a little bit and put it in the fridge but you know hey I'm grateful for just something to eat because I'm starving so it was actually from last night just steak and onions and potatoes and a little bit of mac and cheese and it was just kind of um a little taste of something it wasn't much left on his plate but I ate that and then I was still hungry so I decided to make a little cream of tomato soup so what I did is I just made a roux with a um, little butter in the bottom of a pan and then a little bit of, um, I put some fresh basil and chives, 
some flour, whisk that up, add milk, salt and pepper, basil and oregano, and then um, went ahead and added like a can of diced tomatoes and just made a quick cream and tomato soup. And I'm eating that with a little small packet of Ritz crackers. And guess what? Another can of that lemon lime bubbly, um, the sparkling water. So that is what I ate today. That's all, all the food for me in a day. And like I said, tomorrow will be totally different. I'll eat something completely different based on what's available. And I always cook for Franklin. He's on this like 3,500 calorie diet per day. So he eats, that's why his plate looks totally different than what I'm trying to eat because I'm not trying to blow up and gain weight. He's trying to gain weight for football. So Langston eats a whole another set of food. So that's just kind of um, my food in a day. And I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe I'll do another day to show you kind of a contrast of different days. Some days I eat ribs and mac and cheese. And some days I eat obviously avocado toast and apples and cream and tomato soup and random leftovers. So um, yeah, just different every day depends on what is available in the house, what needs to be used up. And that combined with my um, ongoing efforts to lose that little bit of five to 10 pounds of baby weight that I still have it keeps coming back from Langston, you know, from having a baby at age 38. So now that I'm 41, it just never seems to completely go away. But I'll get there eventually. And you'll have to leave some comments for me about what you eat in a day or if you feel like I am um, needing some kind of food adjustment in my life.